Hi, kindergartners. I was just going to take a look in my mailbox here and see if I've got any Christmas greetings. Would you like to look with me? All right, let's do it. Oh, look, there's all sorts of mail. This is interesting. It looks like, huh, it looks like these Christmas cards are all the same. Well, so are these. I wonder what's going on here. Maybe I should look inside. Oh, look at I could sort them. These are the same. Oh, look at I like that one. Ho, ho, ho. Anyone think this one's kind of cute? Yes, I do. Maybe I'll sort them by the kind of Christmas card they are so that they're all the ones that are alike are together. Looks like they're mostly together already, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll just sort the last few that aren't already together. We've got some reindeer ones. I like this one has a Christmas greeting right on the front. It says, Merry Christmas. I kind of want to see what's inside these, don't you? Well, let's look inside this one first. Let me clean up these other cards for a minute. I'll just put them back in my mailbox in order. Yeah, so that if we want to get out more to read, we can. But this way, we'll still have a little bit of space to see what's in here. All right, boys and girls, let's see. Cute little gingerbread house all decorated up there. Huh. Well, it says, wishing you a magical holiday season, but look what's on top. What does that say? What does it say, Logan? Can. Yes, you're right. You can read that. Oh, it happens to be another sight word. What does this one say? Demir, do you know? It does. It says we. Good job. Oh, what's going on with all these sight words? Lillian, do you know it? You're right. It is C. Huh. This one's not a sight word, but it sure is fun. Do you know that one? It's a compound word. There's two parts. Here's ginger. Here's bread. Yes, gingerbread, m n men. Good job. Well, do you think these are clues, boys and girls? Let me bring our camera over here so that we can take a look at these. Let's see if we can make it work. Can you see that okay? All right, here we are. All right, um, what's going on? Do you think we can solve these clues? Is it a puzzle? What's going on? What, Remington? Oh, you're right, it does. It has a capital. Well, let's put that one first. Ethan, what do you see over? Oh, a period. That probably goes at the end. All right, well, let, let's read what's here. Hmm. How can we do this? Let's see. We see can gingerbread men? Hmm, that doesn't sound right. What should I do? Oh, you want me to switch them around? Which one's Brooklyn? Switch can and see. All right, let's do that. Now let's try. You want to read it with me? Okay, let's read it together. We can see gingerbread men. That makes sense, doesn't it? It sure does. I, I think we figured out what that sentence was. Do you think the other cards have a mystery for us to solve too? All right, let's find out. Let's put this one over here. Let's reach back into our mailbox. Who said they want to do the one with the, the dog on it? Oh, yeah. I agree. Let's give that one a try. Let's see what's in there. Okay, here's the dog ones. Putting those back in. All right, so this one. Who can, oh, there's how many words on here? Show me with fingers. Mm -hmm. There's two words, I and can. All right, let's take a look at this one. Let's try this one. Oh, yeah. Does anyone know that one? That's a sight word, the, mm-hmm. And there's a color word, yellow. Good job, the one that starts with the Y. All right. Oh, does anyone know that one? Are. What do you say, Benjamin? Star. Good job. 
Okay, and here's that one we saved for. Oh, you all just said it right out. You all said C. All right, well, let's see if we can solve this mystery. All right, yeah. Okay, good idea, Lillian. Let's put star last because of the period. We know that one's gotta be last. Okay, Rylan, what about the capital? Oh, you're right. It makes us know it goes first. I can, let's see. I can the yellow sea star. Hmm. Nope, something's not right there. Okay, uh, Martin, what do I need to do? You want to switch the C with the yellow? Okay. All right, let's look at it. Let's read. I can see the yellow star. We solved another one that made sense. All right, so tell me this. Which one of these words describes the star that tells us something about it? What kind of star is it? Okay, Kylie? Yes, yellow describes star. That's a describing word. All right, which one of these words is a naming word? It tells us the name of something. Yeah, a person, place, or thing. Okay, Logan? Yeah, a star. That's a thing. Very good. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Well, maybe we should do one more of these. And then maybe we can save the others for another day. All right. Does anyone read? Oh, you were thinking about the Santa one, Natalie? Okay. Let's do the one that's got Santa in his tummy. There's one. Okay. Yep. We'll put these back in the mailbox. All right. Oh, does anyone know that word? Yeah. It, that looks like... Mrs., like when we say Mrs. Finkel, that's how I write Mrs. But that doesn't say Finkel. That says Claus. <gasps> Mrs. Claus. And here I thought this was going to be all about Santa. But we're hearing something about Mrs. Claus. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Remember I said I thought it was going to be about Santa? Yeah, there's Santa. Okay. Ooh, there's one of our sight words. Okay, what is it? Are you going to read it to us, Nevaeh? Yep. Yeah. And. Excellent. Oh, that's going to come in useful. Wow. One, two, three words on this one. What do they say? Who wants to read three words? All right. Um, go ahead, Audrey. She very confidently said, I can see. All right, well, you know, I often like to look at the capitals to help me know what should go first, but that's kind of interesting here because look at, there are capitals galore. Capitals all over the place. Okay, so that's not going to work. Okay, what, you, so you want to think about what can make sense? That's true. We start a lot of sentences with, I can see. All right, well, what could we see? Hmm. Okay, I can see Mrs. Claus. Can I put that there? Oh, why not? All right, yeah. Oh, Mason, you're right. The period wouldn't be in the middle of the sentence, so Mrs. Claus is going to have to be at the end. Okay. Um, all right, then could we say I can see? Yeah, we can say I can see Santa. Okay, Kaden, we'll do that. I can see Santa, Mrs. Claus. Oh, we need something to kind of link it together. Hmm, that handy word, and. Let's try that, and then we'll read it. Okay. I can see Santa and Mrs. Claus. Well, boys and girls, reading is a lot of fun, isn't it? Isn't it fun when we know those words? Maybe if we keep practicing, it'll be more and more rewarding because we'll know more words and we can read more things. Yeah, and that way if we ever get mail, we'll know how to read what's on the letter. All right, I'm going to leave these out just in case we get time to do more of these another time. All right, would you like to see our things to help us practice reading today? Yes, well, our first one has more sentences. Yeah, you, we've done these before, remember? We read the sentence, and then we cut these out, and we switch the cards, or we make it into a flip book. Let's read it. I can... Good. Jump. 
and the, yeah, that one says jacket. I knew it wasn't coat because there can't be a J if it's going to be coat, so it's jacket, okay? And then you could switch it up when you cut these out. Yeah, put it on there and you would read, I can jump and the juice. Yikes, that's gonna be messy. Well, all right, we can still do it, so we'll leave it that way. Well, you know what to do here to practice these different sentences. Why don't you make a flip book, finish it all up, you can read it, and then you'll have it for practicing. All right, here's our other activity. I was pretty excited about this activity because we get to color these different words, but you know how we know to color them? There's a color code, look it. If it's in the and family, we're going to color it red. Mm -hmm. Let me find a red crayon. There's a violet red. Mm, I'm going to have to do, oh, there's a red red. R-E-D, right? Okay, in the and family. So your job will be to go through these lights and see which one have and at. Nope, that's it. M and, hey, look at we found one. That can be a red light, okay? To app. No. Matt. Uh-uh. F. Ann. Oh, I heard the Ann. Very good. Fan. Oh, look at man. Fan. They rhyme. Do you see another one that would rhyme on here? Who said pan? Yeah, you're right. Good job, Hunter. It is pan. Pan, fan, man all rhyme. So what color goes all red? Okay, then you're going to look for ones that end with at. If they're in the at family, you're going to color them green. Look, at we've got one right on top. K at. Let's color that one green. I'm going to color this whole part green. Yeah. Okay. T app. Nope, that's something different. M at. Cat mat. Same word family. Yep, there we go. We could color it. Okay, you're going to need to find one more from the at family. You want to know what to do with the App family, the app family is going to be B-L-U-E, yeah, blue. So let's go ahead and color this blue here. Okay, good. To app, oh look at it, app. It's also in the app family, isn't it? Well, boys and girls, when you get these last few figured out, do you know what you can do? You could color the tree, and then you could cut out these lights and put them all over the tree. Yeah, that would look beautiful. And then you'll know which word family they're in by the color, or you can read them in practice. What were you thinking about, Jessie Mae? That is true. If the lights are the same color, they're going to be in the same word family, so they will rhyme. Yeah, that's really fun. I never thought about having rhyming words like that. Yeah, great. Well, boys and girls, I think that we've gotten a good start today on practicing our word family skills so that we'll be readers who can read the mail that comes in the mailbox. All right, practice hard and do your best.